Hey guys, this is Tu. In this video, I'll be showing you on how to add a custom drawing template in Annex. So, this is the Annex software, and this is the latest uh, interface Annex 903. So, always we will begin to create a new drawing file by clicking the new button. So, look for the uh, drawing tab. And notice that there are existing templates such as A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, except these two templates which are customly added by me. So if you have a company proof, uh, company template that you would like to put inside Annex uh, for your convenience, and you can do it this way. And I'll show you how. So. First of all, the steps is first to set up the environment variables to look for the template. Secondly, you might want to back up the template folder because uh, whenever if you mess up the template folder, you can always restore the template folder with your backup folder. Third, creating a new .prt file that represents the template and this template file would include tables, uh, image that are only visible uh, only. Next, put the template file into the template folder. Next, modify the PEX file to update the template list. And finally, restart Annex to see the effect. So let's begin by setting up the environment variables. So by default, uh, Annex use these variables UGII templates underscore DIR to search for the template folder. So if you do not want to change this var this variable, you can use back the def the default template uh, directory. Uh, but as I said, probably you would like to customly set your own uh, template uh, directory, and therefore you can set this uh, variable. So. How do we set it? So I'll just close Annex. Notice that uh, this is the way I initiate an uh, Annex session. So I'm not using the default Annex icon, but I'm using an Annex.bat script file. So this script file is created using Notepad. So what I do, I'm showing you now is uh, the content of this script file. So this script file uh, is written in the notepad and whenever I double click on this script file, it will help me to set the UGII template directory as such and so on. And finally, after setting all the environment variables and finally it would initiate the NX session with uh, this environment setting taken into effect. So by default, the template folder is located at the UGII slash templates. Uh, this is the default folder. So I have already created a backup folder called templates2. Therefore, I'm using templates2. So these environment variables are irrelevant for this uh, this demonstration so you can ignore it. So all you need to do is to write a script as such. This is the template directory or if you uh, if you just want to use back the default template directory you can just ignore all this. You can just use back uh, the default icon uh, to initiate the annex session. Uh, whichever uh, is convenient to you. So, uh, that is all about setting up the environment variables. So, and also backing up the template folder. Now, we will need to create a new .prt file that represents the template. So, what I do, I will just uh, double click on this bat file. To create a new template, we can either create it from scratch 
or we can use the existing template as a reference. For example, if I choose to use this template in the millimeters unit, I can quickly put a name here, for example, my company template. Okay. So uh, I'll need to change a bit, for example, two. Okay, so notice that this is a, a existing drawing template by Siemens. So we will need to cust customize this template uh, into a new company template. Notice that currently all these entities can't be select because all these entities are stored in a visible only layer. So I'm going to show you the layer settings. So we proceed to the menu, go to format and layer settings, or you can press Ctrl L will give you the same effect. So these are the layers. These layer, these entities store in layer 256. And if I click here, to, this will make me uh, make the layers modifiable. So I can now just delete this table, for example, I can create a new table and I can delete uh, those entities which are irre irrelevant to my company template, for example, these lines. Now, let's say I would like to create a new table here, so I can go ahead and click on tabular node. So I can set my anchor at the bottom right of the table. So my cursor will appear at the bottom right corner of the table in order for me to conveniently slap, snap it on the lines. I can also adjust the table size by changing the columns. For example, currently four columns, I can change it to five columns and the row, I can set it to six rows. Or eight rows. Notice that the table size change. We also can edit the width of the columns as such. So let's say I, I'm satisfied with this table. I can go ahead and snap it onto the end line, end point of the line. Now I can try to I can input the value inside the cell by right-click on it and edit the cell. For example, company name. So uh, I can try to merge these cells together and merge these cells together. For this example, I'll be putting my company uh, name. So, the next thing we will do is to add an image, for example, a company logo. So we can go ahead and choose insert an image. So I'll need to quickly search for a company template uh, and logo. So this is my company logo. I can choose to uh, move the handle and adjust the size by dragging the corner of the image. There is a by default setting here to lock the aspect ratio of the drawing. So if you change the aspect ratio of the drawing, uh, the image will become distorted. Therefore, it is not recommended to do so. We will always use the default setting then. So, Let's say I'm satisfied with the size and the image. I can right click, uh, I can middle click my mouse button once to accept it. Now I can put this image inside the table. For example, I merge all the cells and I drag this image here. So my company template is almost, uh, let's say I'm satisfied with this set uh, layout. Next, 
I can put all these tables into the visible only layer. So to do so, we can go to the menu, choose format and move to layer. And select everything and put this into layer 256. OK. And finally, we will change this layer to visible only. Remember the shortcut Control L to access the layer settings dialog box. So now, if I select everything, nothing is uh, is selected, is highlighted. So that means all these are visible only. So right now we can proceed to save this template. I'll be saving. I will be giving the name my company templates two and save it at the desktop. We can close this file and we are done for step number three. Next, we will need to put this template file into the template folder. So this, temp this is the newly created template file. You need to cut this file and put it inside this folder. Uh, as shown, uh, program file Siemens NX 8.0 UGII slash templates 2. So I will quickly go to that location. So this is my new template folder. I can just go in here and paste my new template file here. So that's it for step number four. Step number five, we will need to modify the pack file, the .pax file, to update the template list. So this .pax file is located at the template uh, folder. So this is the folder. Uh, this is the file uh, required to modify the drawings templates. There are other templates for other applications such as CAE, but we are going to modify this file instead. So we we'll just need to right click and choose edit. So this is the .pax file. It consists of tons of uh, codings uh, shown here. However, these codings. Uh, has a very uh, s s a simple pattern. So notice that uh, this is a set of codes to represent a template. This is another set of code to represent another template. And this is another set. So all we need to do now is to just copy a set of the codes and paste it below the empty space. Now, we we'll just need to modify this code to represent the new template. The first thing to do is to change the ID here, palette's entry, according to the sequence. For example, this is ID 23, this is 24, and subsequently, this will be 25. So the presentation name we can change to company template 2. We can put a description here uh, according to your description. For example, uh, company uh, description for new create new template. So most importantly, we will need to change the file name uh, to the name of the new template file. So in this case, if you could not remember, we can just go back and check. So the new name is called my company template 2. So I'll need to put 2 here. So the, the unit is metrics here. So we're going to uh, remain the words metric here. If you're using other units such as uh, English, English units, you will need to change this unit into English. So that's it for this file. We can proceed to save it and close this file. So step number five is completed. Finally, we will need to restart NX to see the effect. 
So I'll just close Annex. And double click on the annex 9bat to restart it. Now, if I click new, this will be my new company template uh, available here, customly added just now. So if I just click OK, uh, voila, you can see this is a new template created uh, using the method just now. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.